Well, we're out here at KBC uh, trying to sell these pink shirts. This is the fifth year that we've done this fundraiser for Cares Enough to Wear Pink. Uh, so several of us have taken the challenge and painted ourselves hair pink. Uh, so we're out here till noon trying to sell as many shirts as we can. Uh, it goes to three different charities, all to fight cancer or cancer research. So we're excited to be out here doing what we can do. Uh, we probably, we got in excess of 500 left, so there's plenty, plenty left, all sizes as of now. Now, after the end of the day, we may be limited on some sizes, uh, then we'll be at Bob Phillips tomorrow. Uh, so after this weekend, I would imagine we'll be uh, getting running low. It's, it's been positive. Uh, it's been, like I said, a little slow this morning, uh, but we anticipate it closer to noon it'll start picking up. Uh, right now, we've probably, I, I really don't know uh, an accurate count. We've, um, we've brought in about half uh, of what uh, we estimate to bring in. So we brought in about a little over 12,000. Uh, you know, so we've covered the cost. So all the rest now is profit and goes to the charities. So we're, we're good. The main thing is to cover the cost. And we got that, so we're, um, we're excited. We still got all shirts, all sizes still available. Um, they can sell, get them at all three fire stations, and we'll sell them until they're until they're gone. This has been a video production of the Waxatchee Daily Light. For more articles about Ellis County, go to the Daily Light's website at waxatchetx.com. This has been Andrew Branco reporting.